Hi again, everyone. I'm back so soon. I told you I cannot put this washi down. Um, so let me clarify something real quick also, um, because someone did comment and a lot of people seem to not know what this is. So this is actually pet tape. Okay. Um, it's in comparison, I wanted to show you guys that it's something very similar to packing tape. So it has this sort of texture. Um, it's like, you know, uh, basically it is a plastic, um, but most washi tapes shops do carry them okay and then these as they do look like stickers but they can be used as washi and it is the same paper washi tape is made out of so um in my titles i will put pet tape as well as washi because that really can be confusing to someone who doesn't have this um so i just wanted to clarify that and I'm going to be using both. So you can use washi or the pet tape, okay? Now I'm making these awesome envelopes and we are not scoring. We are not doing anything. It's literally so easy to do this. And look at how gorgeous they look. And they're so durable with the tape. Um, and I just love the way it looks. This envelope will last forever. Just a few little samples. And I'll show you how I even kind of came up with this method because I didn't, this was kind of an accident. Um, and look, so just like the stickers and then I did just the staples, kind of like what we did before. So you know how I made, and sorry, my desk is so, like, I literally have tape everywhere. Um, so you know how we made the bookmarks. Um, and by the way, I added a little brad in mine and I love that touch. So um, it's a great touch to have. Hold on, let me fix my lighting. I'm sorry, I'm always, you know, my room, and when I'm looking at the filming, it never looks the same on screen, so I always worry about the lighting. But anyway, um, so I made the bookmark, and you know I'm sending them to my son's teacher, or old teacher. So I wanted to actually make originally a sleeve for this, okay? So let me show you kind of how it happened. So I just cut a 3 by 11 inch strip of vellum, and the, and this is great for vellum scraps. Like all of these projects that we're doing are perfect for your scraps because we always have these strips, right? So um, I was kind of just, I wanted to make almost like an envelope type thing for it. So I just went like this and just kind of like eyeballed it <clears throat> and put it down and folded it. <clears throat> and the idea was to make like a bookmark sleeve. So um, I was going to, well, I'm going to do something like this when I send it out. But, um, then I was like, wait a minute, I wonder if I put washi on it. <laughs> so, or the pet tape on it. So that's what I'm doing. And this is all we're doing. We don't have to measure it because, or seal it or anything because the tape is going to do that for us. So I'm just grabbing and I'm going to say doubling it up is not easy on camera. Okay. So you're going to have to bear with me. This is basically doubled up. So... I have not used this one yet on envelopes. So let me use this one. This may get a little messy, guys. I'm not gonna lie because tape is not easy to work with and you only get one chance, <laughs> okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. So basically, I'm just going to grab it and you don't have to put it all the way around because sure, it can be wasteful, but if you're giving it like this, then you'll want to. But here's an example of one I just put a little bit um, so it's really up to you if you want to go all the way around, but you want to make sure you get both sides because you don't want to like, you don't want to wrap it around and then stop here because this will be open. You want to make sure you seal both sides. So I'm going to, it's really hard to see. Let me grab my scrap so you guys can kind of see, sorry. I'm just going to, so you can see the vellum, I think better. Um, okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see it, okay? So I'm just really just lining it up here. And I do wanna wrap mine all the way around because, you know, I want it to be sealed. So I'm just doing this. And I'm really just wrapping it around. And I'm gonna just do that twice to get that pretty, um, that pretty, all around look so I'm just gonna cut it and of course you know me I'm just eyeballing it and then you can and I would obviously do this a little bit cleaner not on camera and then go ahead and take your second row and do the same thing 
And remember, the bottom's already sealed because we just folded it so you don't even have to seal the bottom. So again, make sure you do this side and make sure you do this side because it will not seal right. And you don't even have to make it even because it's going to just blend in. Like literally, you know, I didn't even do a good job. It's kind of sloppy and it still looks really good. So, um, and then of course our lid, but isn't it awesome because we don't have to score anything and it's going to be so beautiful for the recipient or whoever you're giving it to. You just fold that down and I did do my edges a little sloppy out there. So, um, and then I'm going to take some of my glitter cardstock and I actually wanted to use the white but I like the glitter on the inside because when they open it you can still see it right here so even though I'm doing white you know you can still see it uh where is my eyelet punch and where am I okay there's my eyelets so I'm just going to well, I need to clear this out because I can't see what's going on just going to center this, but isn't this an easy, and basically that's what I'm doing with these. And these eyelets, I do get this, and by the way, the cutouts, these were discontinued. I cannot remember for the life of me what brand it is. If you guys know, um, it was like gray dyes, but this is one and a half by one and a half inches. So I had linked in my other video something that I found that was one and a half by one and a half, but um, that's the size of those from the bookmarks. Oops. And just FYI, we're still here. <laughs> it's supposed to rain the next few days, and um, I just said, you know what, let's just stay here, whatever. We'll just enjoy summer. We can go everywhere we want in the summer, and it's not really a big deal. Okay, I'm just putting that brad on, added a hole, and you have this gorgeous, gorgeous envelope, and basically, we didn't have to do anything. So, um, and I'll just show you kind of different ways. So, this is just another 3 by 12 right here. Of course, you can just eyeball it however big your items are. So, this one is if you want something really sealed and loose. This one, obviously, I just put one tape. And you're gonna obviously have a little bit of loose things like here if you don't seal it. So if it's something like a tag or photos, things like that that aren't gonna fall out, then you can do something like that. So I'm really just folding it anywhere. And maybe we'll use this one because this one is my favorite. You guys are just gonna love this. I'm probably making you antsy by making all these videos and you don't have your tape to play with yet. Or maybe you do. Some have said they found some at other places. And in the United States, we can't just like get this in our local stores either. I feel like um, this is all things that we order too. Oh my goodness, let me grab this. It's not coming off for me today. Okay, so for this look, this is more simple, I feel like. And I'm just gonna really just smack it in the middle. Oh no, it's crooked. <laughs> I told you, you only have one chance and I'm just gonna put it here and can I do it? Oh, I can fix it. Hold on, let me see here. Okay, but just don't do what I did and you'll be fine. So there's that. And again, so that's just a simple one and you could do the same thing. I'm not really crazy about that. I would have probably put that on the front. I should have done it that way. And then for this one, these little ones, which this one is just the washi. And I literally just put it on the front like this and I folded the edges on the side. So that's what I did with that. And these little ones are even more simple because you're not even putting it around the whole thing. So I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna cut it actually. I'm just gonna cut this. 
this here. Make a little, um, hold on, that's not even. I usually use my cutter, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So I'm just going to do this. And grab some tape. Can you tell I'm having a, a ball with these things? I just cannot stay away from them. Okay, and I'm not even gonna put it all around, just kind of showing you some op different variations of how you can do it. And I'm going to take this one, and, and I'm not gonna wrap this one all the way around. I'm just going to sorry, can't do this on camera. So I'm just going to slap it on there. And I'm just gonna put it like this. And I'm just gonna cut this one. And I'm just gonna add it like that. So that's probably the easiest way, honestly, you guys. But again, if you're doing something like this and you want it to see the back, then you would wrap it around. But this one's fine, especially if you have it in like a little um, journal pocket or something, you want it to be just dainty or it's glued. Um, you could do it like this. And this is a great way to do those little, um, like a little coin pouch album. If you have it just all in a row with just the tape and the vellum, oh, so pretty. I'll have to try and do something like that. Or even like every other page, it could be like, one vellum, one of these, and then just make the album really pretty. So yes, this is it. These are really sweet and just another fun project. But again, you could also do that, um, the bookmark thing that I had done, um, cause that is how I'm actually sending them. I'm gonna put like a couple of them and a few sleeves like that and it's gonna look like that. But another quick project for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I have so many ideas, but I'm going to try and upload a, that album. <laughs> I said that last time, but I'm going to try and do that next before the rain comes because we're not going to get very good lighting. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this video and hope I clarified the difference between, you know, the washies and all that. And really quickly, if you do just have the washi tape, this is just, I mix the gold with the regular washi sticker. Um, you can obviously just use regular washi um, rolls if you don't have this. And you know, my kit did come with um, lots of them like that. And you could obviously decorate it like that. I just personally just like the pet tape with it. And I like the individual option to, you know, accent all of these pages. Okay guys, thank you.